Welcome to my channel, Dr. Munshi Nasser is skilled on how are you my dear learners. In this video, we are going to talk about structural equation modeling. How we can learn structural equation modeling very easily using a simple data set and simple example. So without wasting any time, let's get started. My dear learners, in structural equation modeling, usually in the psychology, economics, social science, sociology, and even in the engineering or technology, you might find that there is a complex relationship between one variable with many other variables. For example, if you measure intelligence, there are several ways we can measure intelligence. For example, by GPA or by cognitive ability, and there are lots of other ways we can measure a person's intelligence right likewise there are many other social variables that cannot be measured directly you have to measure using certain other variables which can influence or indirectly related to that particular variable those variables usually we call it latent variable latent variables such as the variable that is correlated with many other factors and in that particular case a complex relationship build up and in order to measure that complex relationship we use structural equation modeling okay so we understand what is structural equation modeling in a very natural so let's get to the application side okay now as you know in the in the JAPS I already explained in my video and also in my channel JAPS is a fantastic research statistical free software in this software you can use different type of analysis very easily. One of the analysis is a structural equation modeling. And in my opinion, this is the best way you can learn structural equation modeling and you can apply different type of data to analyze in JAPS. So let us talk about one of the examples. So once you open the JAPS, you will find out these three dots and also in the plus dot. In this plus dot, you will find the, all the analysis tools that is available under JAPS. One of the tool that is called the structural equation modeling in the simple form SEM, S-E-M. It is also available. It is, if it is not available to your JAPS version, simply click this one. It will be available in the overall interface of JAPS. Okay. Now, Let's go and see what are the data available for understanding the structural equation modeling. So here you can see open data file. There are several options you can use. Directly go to the data library and go down. You will find out SAM. Okay. In this data library, there are three important and very popular data sets for your example. One is the political democracy. One is the grade point average. And the other one is the social participation. Any one of these will help you to understand how the structural equation modeling works. Now, in this case, first one, the political democracy, if I open this one, this will open up the data set. So the data set looks like this, V1, Y1, Y2, Y3. What are these? Y4, Y5. These are the variable names and these are the data set. And this data set is already in the JAPS data library. Now, how do we know what what does it mean what right jeps has a very interesting way to analyze your things for example if you look at the description you will find out that the data description of this is very given very clearly the data set is the political democracy provides indicators of industrialization in 1960s and political democracy indicators in 1960 and 1965 what does it mean? It means that there are several variables x1 to x3. These are the indicators of industrialization in 1960s in USA and how it relates to the political democracy in 1960 and how it predicts in 1965 political democracy indicators. So the main example or the data set describing that the example of Jeff's file demonstrates the use of structural equation modeling to understand three latent variables, industrialization in 1960 and how it relates to the political democracy indicators in 1960 and how it predicts for 1965. And that is what we are going to measure using our structural equation modeling. Okay. Now, for your simplicity, the, I already share, I will share a link where all the information are given detail 
political democracy given here all the data set and its explanation meaning that y1 what does it y1 means expert ratings of the freedom of the press in 1960 likewise there are three latent variables that i said in the earlier speech x1 x2 and x3 x1 meaning that the gross national product in 1960 the inanimate energy consumption per capita meaning that fossil fuel consumption and the percentage of the labor force in 1960. How these three industrialization indicators relate to the factors of freedom of press, effectiveness of elected legislation, freedom of political opposition, these are the variables that are correlated with the latent variables x1, x2 and x3 and how it predicts the political democracy in 1965 that is our objective and how we are going to do the analysis using jap software we will see that so this also in this particular link you will see detailed information and the structural equation modeling the diagram the path diagram is given here you know the students who are basically coming from the marketing department or maybe management department they are might uh, uh, officially they are familiar with the customer satisfaction survey customer satisfaction survey this is a very interesting research domain and quite often we use structural equation modeling and we use the path diagram to understand customer satisfaction using different type of marketing campaign okay so that will be very useful for your application of the structural equation model so you see there are three important variables in 1960 and how it relates to the political democracy of 1960 and how it predicts in 1965 political democracy and y1 to y8 are the political democracy indicators okay now let us see how it works in the jabs so as you can see i already explained the variable and data set so in the jabs you will see there are three important steps one is the measurement model the other one is the regression and residual correlation the most two important steps are measurement model and regression okay now in the measurement model you see indicators of 1960 meaning that the industrialization in 1960 are the variables of x1 x2 and x3 and these are the relationship we are meaning that we are relationship the relationship of x1 x2 x3 con consist of industrialization of 1960 1960 democracy indicators are y1 y2 y3 y4 and 1965 democracy indicators are y5 to y8 now these are my measurement model i sketch down all the measurement model and how these are related to different domain like industrial in indicators democracy 1965 democracy 1960 likewise now in the regression term this is the important one we are going to see how the democracy indicators regress to the industrialization indicators in 1960 and how democracy indicators in 1965 related to indicate industrialization indicators of 1960 and democracy indicators of 1960 very important so once you dag once you design the measurement model this is the most and the fundamental step the regression you have to design it and this is the regression sign in the r programming and same goes to jabs if you want to create your own model you can always take the help from the chat gpt which i will help you later on okay so once you draw this the measurement model you see control enter once you control and enter it will automatically give you the analysis results and here you will see that output measurement the path diagram if you click the path diagram it will share the path diagram there are other options like r squared residual covariance model options whatever you want to decide you can always choose from the below so what i can see here that the jeps is given me all the output once it already selected and you can see the results are given here you see model fit AIC, BIC information, baseline test, different tests, differences, test tests, additional fit measurements, okay, information criteria, other fit measures, parameter indicators, which is the factor loading in indicators, and this is the most important one, the regression coefficients, the p values, okay. These are the important tables and also the path diagram also created by the JAPS. Now, once you have all this information, you may not understand any of these in the table, right? So what you can do you just have to click this one and 
copy the whole thing. Once you copy it, you will see that the all the information you can paste it in the word file. Once you paste it in the word file, let's assume that copy the whole thing. And if I open up my word file, okay, and if I paste it, everything will be here in this particular file. Okay, all this information are in this word file. Okay, in this word file, all this information, all the outputs. Okay, now save this whole thing save it save for the chat gpt to under help you to understand okay uh, this is the one chat gpt one okay and save it now go to the chat gpt okay and you will see there is a attach option in the chat gpt click this one upload the file from the desktop go to the structural equation modeling for chat gpt okay and once it upload write down can you explain the results of all the tables okay and just press enter and then chat gpt will give you all the information that is required to understand all the results that you need each and every results chat gpt will write down simply copy the whole thing from the chat japs then paste it in the word file upload it in the chat gpt ask them to make sure all the tables are inside the word file and chat gpt will explain all the table and the diagrams inside your analysis of structural equation model okay now once it is done copy the whole thing and it will be simply looks like this okay like model fit the model fit information aic bic information fit indices information the most important one as i said regression coefficient as you can see it says that the indicators it is a po positive strong relationship and it also says that the it is less than five percent so it is also a strong positive relationship and also here the p value is 0 0.010 which also moderately positive relationship so three of these indicator the coefficient p values are strongly positively related in our regression results so that is what a very interesting outcome and very positive outcome also you can understand the model feed aic bic information and other part diagram using this way for your research purpose so in my opinion this is a fantastic way to understand the structural equation modeling first you go to the japs and then use one of this example, run the example, and then use the chat GPT, upload the results and ask them to explain for you. Once it is explained for you, simply copy it in your word file and make sure you understand it very clearly. And then you use it for your research purposes and analysis. And in the next tutorial, I will share how to write a research article based on structural equation modeling. Until next time, thank you my dear learners, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.